Hey, y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I just love food that surprises you, and there's nothing better than taking a bite and finding it's been stuffed with a delicious surprise. So today, I'm cooking a mushroom stuffed baked red snapper with velvety cream cheese stuffed new potatoes. And it's chocolate stuffed eclairs, y'all. So I hope you're hungry, cause today, we're gonna get stuffed. Look over here at these beautiful red snappers, y'all. Michael was able to get these fresh off the boat. He uh, whistled down a boat, and they had just come back in from deep sea fishing and had some red snapper. And I'm gonna stuff them with a mushroom stuffing. All right, I've got my pan heating up over here, and I'm gonna drop in a couple of tablespoons of butter. All right, I've gotten some onion going. I've got some fresh celery going. I'm gonna just finish dicing this up and we're gonna saute it until it's just about tender. All right, in goes our onion. And a little bit more celery. I love using those leaves because they add beautiful texture, color, and a whole bunch of flavor. So a half a cup of celery. All right, we're gonna toss that in our skillet. All right. Oh, that looks good. We got that going on. While those are sauteing, let's move on over here and actually make our stuffing. I'm using eight ounces of just a button mushroom. You can see that I've minced this pretty, pretty finely. I'm using a half a pound of mushrooms, half minced, and the other half, I'm just gonna quarter, so they're gonna be nice big chunks of mushrooms. Okay, so in the bowl those go. All right, I've got about a tablespoon of flat leaf parsley. I'm just gonna mince this up real good and throw that in there for a little extra color, just like this. All right. I've got an eight ounce can of water chestnuts that I've diced up. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of soy sauce. A little fresh ground black pepper. A little salt, not a whole bunch, because our soy sauce contains a lot of salt, so it won't take much. Now I'm gonna use about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Those are fresh breadcrumbs. And I've got one egg that I'm gonna beat up and add to it because our egg is gonna bind those crumbs and mushrooms together. All right, so there we go. This is gonna be so good and Michael has finally gotten himself started on a diet, y'all. So he's asking me to cook a lot of fish for him because fish is so, so good for you. I mean, there's like no fat in it. So he's gonna love this dish. Now let's go over here and get our fish. Now you wanna make sure that you season them good. That's one of the things that early on that my grandma Paul taught me about producing a good fish. So we're just gonna salt and pepper this, and you'll wanna do it inside and out in the cavity of the fish as well. A little pepper. All right, so let's bring him in here, and I'm gonna move him up here a little closer to me, and I'm gonna come over here so I can get my stuffing mix up here. All right, so in here we go with the stuffing. I think I'm just gonna use a shorter toothpick. And just run it through just like that to help him stay closed. Okay, all right. Now let's come over here and get his brother. All right, now you can always use just a filet for this, but I just like using a whole fish because the skin's gonna seal in the flavor and make it extra moist and delicious. Mmm, this makes me wanna go fishing. You know, you'd think living right here on the water that 
I would get to go fishing all the time, but in reality, I don't, don't get to go that often. All right, now let me step down here and wash my hands. Now, all we wanna do at this point is mix our wine, and that's a half a cup of wine, along with three-fourths a cup of water. Now, I'm just gonna pour that around in our dish, and that's gonna keep our fish real, real moist. Now, I've got a little extra onion. I'm just gonna kinda lay on him right on top. All right, the last thing we wanna do is put a little butter on top of our fish. Perfect. 350 degrees preheated oven for about 60 minutes. There's enough moisture in here that's gonna keep that fish nice and juicy. We don't have to worry about him drying out. So in the oven he goes, and when we come back, there's one other thing that I'd rather stuff besides myself, a potato. So when we come back, that's what Paula's stuffing. I'll see you back in a minute. Don't go anywhere, y'all. And later, y'all, chocolate stuffed eclairs. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Before we went on break, I told you that there was only one other thing I like stuffing more than I did my own face. Well, that's a potato. So I've got us some new potatoes cooked off. Now, I've made sure that all my potatoes were very, very close to the same size. I boiled them in nice, nice salty water for about 10 or 12 minutes. Now, I have trimmed the ends off so they'll stand up nice for me. I've got some done, but I'm gonna do about four more. And before I finish hauling those out, let's come on over because I wanna make the cream cheese filling for these potatoes. We're simply gonna stuff these with store-bought boars and cheese, half a stick of butter at room temperature. Just mix those together. Boarsen and butter, y'all. See how easy that mixed together? Mmm. That's so good. It's not gonna take a whole bunch of salt because there's nice flavorings in that boarsen. But I am gonna add a little pepper. And like I said, about, about a third of a cup of whipping cream. I may not use that much though because I want this to have some body. I probably put two tablespoons in and that's all I'm gonna add, no more. Cause like I said, I want this to have nice body. All right, now I'm gonna take a little piping bag. It's just the plain tip to stuff my potatoes with. So in the bag this goes. Whoa, I missed. <laughs> so there we go. All right. So I'm just gonna push this down into my pastry bag, getting all the air out of it. All right, now let's come on over here and I've got a little fresh parsley here. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up. All right, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trim the tops off the other end of the potato. Just like this. So I can get my little melon baller in there. 
and scoop out the insides like I've done on these others. I put our boys and cheese and butter into a pastry bag and I'm just gonna take it and fill each one of our potatoes just like that. A little fresh parsley sprinkled on top and they're ready to go. Well, come on over here and let's get our fish out of the oven. It should be ready. This is a heavy dish, y'all. Look at that fish. It smells so good. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna transfer him to my platter. Oh, it looks so good, y'all. Oh, and a little fresh parsley. Kind of right down in there. And some lemons. A little lemon juice on top of him. Let me get us some of these potatoes. Mmm. This is a Great, easy, healthy meal. And I want to come in there and get me just a little bite. Mmm. Mmm. That fish is wonderful, y'all. Mmm. This is probably one of the best potatoes I've ever eaten. Mmm. So delicious. Coming up, the perfect stuffed dessert, y'all. Chocolate eclairs. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. The stuffing is getting better around here, y'all, because you know what I'm fixing to stuff next? How does chocolate stuffed eclair sound to you? Now, I've got one cup of boiling water, and I'm fixing to make a pastry. I'm going to add one stick of butter to our boiling water. I'm going to melt that butter, and that won't take but just a second. And just that quickly, because my water was hot, the butter's melted. All right, so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour. And I'm just gonna slowly stir that into our boiling water and our butter. And this is gonna get real, real thick. It's gonna form a ball. All right, there we go. And I've stirred in all of my little flour clumps. It's absolutely clump free. All right, now I'm just gonna transfer that to my bowl over here and we're gonna let that cool and while that's cooling, step on down here and we're gonna make the filling for our chocolate stuffed eclairs. I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of cocoa because rather than the vanilla filling, we're gonna do a chocolate filling. So one fourth of cocoa, I'm gonna add six tablespoons of flour. One, two, three, four, five, six tablespoons of flour. And a half a teaspoon of salt. The last dry ingredient I'm gonna add is three-fourths a cup of sugar. So in that goes. Now this is an important step, y'all. Just stir those dry ingredients together because I don't want them clumping on me. 
Now I'm gonna slowly add three cups of milk. And like I said, I wanna do this slowly until I've got all of my ingredients wet in here. All right, and that's good. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna turn on our eye. And I'm gonna cook this over medium heat until it's about the consistency of mayonnaise. Oh, and this looks wonderful. By stirring those dry ingredients, we have produced a clump-free filling. All right, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and add the rest of my milk. And before it gets too hot, I'm gonna take three eggs and I'm gonna add it before my filling gets too hot because I don't want scrambled eggs. I love scrambled eggs, but I don't want scrambled eggs in our eclairs. All right, now I'm gonna change utensils and I'm gonna use my whisk. Look how smooth that is. But while that is coming up to temperature, I'm gonna come over here because our pastry has cooled and I'm gonna add four eggs to our pastry. And I'm gonna beat in our eggs one egg at the time. All right. All right, here we go. How's this, y'all? We got it going on. Oh, my goodness, I can't hardly wait to taste our little pastries. Okay. All right. Now using my little pastry bag again, I'm just gonna transfer our batter to our bag. Just like that. All right, so using our pastry bag, we're just gonna make four long eclairs. Okay, so just that simple. In the oven this goes. I've got it preheated at 400 degrees. We're gonna bake these off and I'm gonna just stuff them with that wonderful chocolate filling that I made earlier. So it's really getting good, y'all. Don't go anywhere, cause Paula's stuffed today. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Over the break, I took our pastries out of the oven, and those have cooled. Our filling has cooled. So now all I want to do is add two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring, We're getting so close to these eclairs, y'all. It's not even funny. All right. So using my pastry bag again, I'm just gonna gently pour that into my bag. If you wanna make just a vanilla filling, you would make it just like I did this, only you would just omit the cocoa powder. All right, there we go. All right, now earlier I made a chocolate icing that we're going to smear on top of our clairs when we have them put together. And it was very, very simple to mix up. I used two blocks of unsweetened chocolate and I popped it in the microwave for about 30 seconds until it melted. I added two cups of sugar to it and one cup of heavy cream, and I cooked that until it came to the temperature of 240 degrees, which is a soft ball. Now, I'm gonna transfer it to my bowl, 
and let that finish cooling. We got a lot of frosting, y'all. Okay, so there we go. So we just wanna come over here and take our eclairs. Now I'm gonna use a little serrated knife. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna ever so gently cut our eclairs. Now you wanna make sure that you don't go all the way through. You wanna just slice them open just enough to stuff them. And you can see how that's hollow in there. All right, now let's come over here and grab our pastry bag. I'm gonna quickly come over here and stuff that into our eclair. All right, now here we go. Oh my goodness, which one do I want? Here we go. Don't know what to say, but bye. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>